Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome back to our Flavors and Knowledge. I am your host, Steve Cascioni. This is our five-star chef, Walter Potenza. It's good to see you, Walter. How was everything? I love your glasses. Oh, I like yours too. I can't we kind of like red and green, almost like a stop sign. Guaranteed we then call each other during the night. It's the only pair I have. (laughs) We come to you from this beautiful designer kitchen showroom at Rhode Island Kitchen and Bath, right on Jefferson Boulevard. you're telling me, Chef, off camera, you love working in this kitchen. This is a beautiful setting. They have been designed properly. What we're trying to accomplish here is to go to different regions, for the most part, in Italy, and find some of the flavors, right. which would be the food and the knowledge that Chef Walter is going to give us. And we're headed in what direction, Chef? Where are we going now? We're going, we're going north, to, right? Yeah, we're going northwest, Piedmont. Piedmont. Uh, Right, near the French border. Okay, now uh, I read a little bit about Piedmont, surrounded by mountains. Right. Lake Maggiore, right? That's yeah. one of the big lakes. The Alps. And doesn't Piedmont actually mean the foot of the mountain? That's right, because the Alps are right there. And Piedmont has a, a, an incredible history when it comes to food and wine. Uh, the, when, it, when you talk about wine, all you need to remember is the uh, three Bs. Let yes. Barolo, Barbaresco, Barbera. Yeah. So even if you don't follow wine, those are good uh, wines. Yeah. Those are the <laughs> three major wines yeah. uh, of that region. And there is an area in Piedmont called the Savoy. The Savoy doing uh, a settlement. Italy gave it to France, and we gave them the Provence. Uh-huh. We gave them Marseille, oh, wow. and we gave them Nice. Really? We trade off also Corsica, because Corsica was an That's Italian right. island That's right. in the middle of the 1700s. But Napoleon invaded northern Italy. Mm-hmm. He brought in butter. Right along okay. with a few other things. And it forced us, young Italians, to speak French. As a matter of fact, French was up to 20 years ago. Really? The second language that you had to I learn in school. That. Yes, French. Today we're gonna to do a, a classic chicken. It's called the Chicken Marengo. Marengo is a town in Piedmont. Mm-hmm. And it's famous because of a major war between Napoleon Bonaparte and the Austrian. In the 1780s, Stephen, The town of Marengo was the place where the Austrians were defeated by Napoleon troops. And this dish was created, it's called Pollo Marengo, chicken Marengo style. The legend says that Napoleon, at the end of the battle, hungry, asked the chef to come up with some solution or something to eat. No kidding. And because it's a land that there there isn't much there, chicken was found, mushroom was found, tomato, garlic, onion, and uh, crawfish. Because we're in Rhode Island, I chose shrimp as a substitute. Okay. And good, this good. is how it goes. Okay, All so right. we're gonna begin with unsalted butter here, Stephen. Mm-hmm. And we're gonna do the two fats. So we use one animal fat, butter, and one vegetable, which is olive oil, oil. Yeah. okay? Here, we're gonna do just a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay, okay Stephen, sure. you can do that right here. I would gladly do that. So you just put it over the top, you mm-hmm. don't have to touch it. Yeah. I'm gonna do the onion inside, and we begin sweating, as we say in culinary terminology. And we move it around a little bit. We release the sugar content of the onion, which is fundamental. Cooking is about the first three, four minutes, Stephen. You know, the putting all, all the ingredients together is really not a good idea. You know, every one of them have a personality. Right, you know? right. One step at a time. One step at a time. We're gonna do a little bit of garlic. And we continue with this base. Now the chicken, boneless chicken breast the that you're using? I, uh, I brought here a three pounder. Okay. I boned it all out. You can get this already from your local supermarket mm-hmm. or have your favorite butcher do this for you. All the bones have been removed and I make soup with Good. it. So we put the chicken inside here, Stephen. Nice. And we just let it color a little bit. That's easy enough. Yeah, you have the legs, you have the tie, and you have the breast, the whole chicken. This nice. is enough for a good three to four people. If you pair it with a side of vegetable mm-hmm. and even a starch, you know, you can get this a nice healthy meal. Nice. Okay? okay. Beautiful. Now that you looks can, good. They leave whole like that. Okay. Beautiful. You just bury underneath. Yep. Beautiful. And we get this going. And here I have a tallarine, which I made a little while ago. Oh, that looks nice. Tallarine is the smaller size between a pappardelle and a fettuccine. It looks like spaghetti. Right. The only thing that spaghetti is round, this is flat. Oh, okay. yes, right, right. That's so what we're gonna do, we're gonna make a sauce for this okay. while this That's is cooking. cooking. All right. right. And we're gonna steam this a little bit. Nice. 
Okay. That sounds sure. good. You know what? We're going to take a break, and we'll be right back after this. The finest imported cheeses. A superlative selection of pasta. Quality delicatessen of every kind. These are the ingredients of happiness. Tony's Colonial. Eat happy. The innovative Go Rehab program at Bannister Center is revolutionizing rehab in Rhode Island. Featuring advanced rehab technology and on-site physicians, the Go Rehab program gets residents back home quicker and stronger. Healthier eating and cutting-edge treatments help get Go residents home faster than conventional programs. Perks like smart TVs and Netflix are great too. If you need rehab after injury or surgery, I recommend Bannister Center. Go there, get stronger. For over 80 years, DeLuise Bakery has provided Rhode Island with fresh, delicious baked goods, handmade the old world Italian way. Family owned and operated, DeLuise is the name everyone trusts for cakes, pies, pastries, and everything you'll need for an unforgettable celebration. Call today to order graduation cakes, pizza, spinach pies, and rolls for Memorial Day cookouts and parties. DeLuise Bakery, old world tradition, flavors, and service since 1936. The finest extra virgin olive oils. Imported balsamic vinegars from Modena. Italian specialties and gifts. These are the ingredients of happiness. Tony's Colonial, from Italy with love. And we are back, Chef. It's okay. looking like it's getting going. So what I do here, we're gonna, we had the chicken. Yep. Kind of cook a little bit, Stephen. And here, I'm gonna begin the sauce for the tallarine, okay? A little bit, this can cook 100% in a pan. How long, 15, 20 uh, minutes? This it takes about 20 minutes. Yeah. So what we doing, we coloring the chicken now. Mm -hmm. And uh, you notice I have it on low fire so that I don't burn the onion. That's right. That's the key right. is to maintain the onion as white as possible. And the garlic too, right? And the garlic, yep. exactly. It's also a good idea, Stephen, not to puncture the poultry, the flesh. Right. We don't want the liquid to come out. Right. Keep it's it vital to keep the moisture of the poultry in this yeah. case. We're gonna use a good uh, six ounces glass of dried white wine. And now we begin creating the sauce, so which will be some chopped tomato here. Nice. Almost a cup of chopped tomato. Now I was reading about Piedmont. They also have uh, the hazelnuts grow like gold. Hazelnut is there, a right? big product. Big, big and product. Uh, Truffles? Truffles. Yeah. Uh, the Alba Festival in October is uh, worldwide renowned. I'm gonna add here the cherry tomatoes, okay, which have been cut. We needed to create a broth like Stephen. Mm -hmm. That is the fundamental, as the tomato gonna stop breaking, right. they create their own broth. So we're gonna cover this again. We're gonna swap it. Okay. And we're gonna begin making the sauce for tallarine, the pasta, okay? Great. The sauce is very simple. We're gonna make it nice and rich. We had an extra, uh, we unsalted butter there. Okay. We're gonna cook the pasta and we're gonna put the cream inside. Cream, heavy cream? Heavy cream. This is tallarine with cream. It's truly rich and delicious. Some mushroom. What kind of those? Waffles? These are shiitake, but you can use a domestic white. Okay. If you have porcini, around this time of the year will be ideal. But uh, right now, porcini are not in season. But what I do have is porcini powder. These are dry porcini oh, really? that get pulverized. And so when they're available, we buy the dry porcini, we put them through a coffee ground. Yeah, yeah. aren't you fancy? Yeah. Huh? How do you come up with this stuff? No, it's easy. And you create, you have the same flavor as porcini, the, right uh, there. These are actual porcini, but they're not whole. Right, right. Okay? So a little bit of salt and pepper in there. Okay, I can do that. Yeah, while the chicken cooks, yeah, be generous, nice. Spicy. And always salt first, because I'm OCD and I hate to see black pepper speckle in the salt. That's right, right. that's bother. right, see? Yeah, that's good. Ah, All I right. know how to do it. So while this cooks a little bit, okay, we're gonna reduce it, and I'm gonna have a little bit of vegetable broth. While that's going, we're gonna cook the, uh, the tallarine. The problem mm -hmm. is now that this takes about three minutes. Okay. And we have to wait till this thickens. Comes out. Because as we cook the butter fat off of the cream, mm. that's gonna reduce and gets it thicker and thicker and thicker. Okay. Cool. It is not an Alfredo sauce, okay? So uh -huh. that you know, we don't have a guy named Alfredo <laughs> in Italy. Okay. Are you sure? No, we have a lot of Alfredo, none of them cook. All right, we're gonna take a break. We'll be right back and here's a little more from Rhode Island Kitchen and Bath Designer Showcase. 
Welcome to the RI Kitchen and Bath Seminar Series, where you can learn the ins and outs of kitchen and bath remodeling and design from the experts themselves. Get inspired by seeing the latest products and designs in our beautiful showroom floor. So today's topics, we're going to go over kitchen and bath design trends, um, just a few things that we're going to touch on. Today's topics are going to include uh, levels of remodeling, budgeting, and then 10 steps to a successful remodel. I'm Joni and Dave from Bristol, Rhode Island. And we've come here to uh, Rhode Island Kitchen and Bath uh, seminar because we are starting a planning for redoing our kitchen and half bath laundry room. This is our second visit that we've done here and we really enjoy it very much. And we're definitely going to use Rhode Island Kitchen and Bath because they take care of everything. It's important to have somebody you know, working with you in this time to really help guide you through all of those decisions there are to make. Sometimes people are a little overwhelmed by how many decisions there really are. Uh, attention was paid to every detail. Um, it was a very thorough inspection before the project even started so that the company was already aware of any problems that already existed that had to be addressed and they were also able to alert us, my husband and myself, to any problems that also might occur. Say you plan your whole space, you go to put the toilet in, the building inspector comes out and you haven't left 15 inches from the wall to the center of your toilet and everything else is so tight that nothing else can move, that's not going to pass. So it's really important that you're measuring and taking into account all those different codes and stipulations. You know, we are a very well-established company. We've been in business for 29 years. Um, we have kitchen and bath remodeling down to a science, so we're very experienced in terms of uh, code requirements and safety regulations that need to be followed. We also have, you know, an award-winning team of designers here. You know, we really offer people a lot of expertise and peace of mind in you know getting these projects done. Visit RIKB.com for a list of the upcoming seminars and to reserve a seat for the next event. Or come to our showroom floor located on Jefferson Boulevard in Warwick. I have some sliced garlic here, right here, with nothing in a pan, and I'm gonna put in flour this little chicken uh, tenderloin that I purchased so that I can coat them a little bit. I flip the chicken and I don't stab it. I don't want the liquid to come out. So we're gonna deglaze this with a little bit of dry white wine. The next thing we do is we squeeze the lemon and I'm gonna leave the lemon with the skin inside. So I'll put basil on the inside, chicken broth here, because I need the sauce. The flour that we put on the chicken thickens the sauce, you see? Dry apricot. So what we have here is the sugar that is inside here. This is a natural sugar. There's no sugar added to this. You can use whatever dry fruit you like. Now I'll remove this chicken and we continue making the base. Good cooking is never more than three or four ingredients on a plate. Right now we're gonna add some steamed spinach that I had here and the crunch factor. Chickpeas. I put uh, the apricot, and then we finally give the chicken one more quick warming, and we put it over the top. And the chickpeas go around. Oh man, look at this! And because you start with uh, a natural fat, such an olive oil, you always finish with a natural fat over the top. You drizzle it, so you have two types of flavor. You have the flavor of the olive oil where we were cooking the chicken at the beginning, and we have the raw taste of the olive at the end. All right? Simple food for everybody. Okay? So there are no thick sauces, no thick creams here, none like that. We take advantage of all the natural ingredients that are found every day in your local supermarket. There's nothing to it. Come by and check out the beautiful new space. Meet its team of skilled healthcare professionals and get a taste of healthy living. Come to Bannister Center and get stronger.
We're back. Well, you got a lot of stuff going on here, Seth. Uh, now what? Just what's, to get what's, you what's excited. This now, right? just, we're going up a now little bit. Now the pasta, the flat pasta. How do you make it flat? That's what I want to know. Tallarine. <laughs> so, and we're going to use just that. Okay. Now, you, fresh pasta cooks very quickly. Cooks Mo in about A lot three, faster than dry pasta, right? Three to four minutes. Yeah. So that's yours. Okay. And I'll keep stirring that up yeah, for you. Just stir a little bit. At the end of the process, in about a couple of minutes, you dump a decent amount of salt. I like to put the salt at the end of the cooking I process. I do too. Yeah. As opposed to cooking it forever. Yeah. In the meantime, the marengo it is working good. well. The chicken is cooking. The bay leaf is... And the sauce is getting thick. Yeah, we don't mess around here. We know that the shrimp won't take long to cook, Stephen. Okay. Yeah, that's fast. And we're going to add the basil to this, but we're going to have it at the very end, right okay. before we serve it, okay? We've got the marengo cooking. As soon as this comes to boil, yep. we're going to put Some it salt. inside our cream sauce with the porcini powder and shiitake. Okay. And we'll continue to thicken it and bind it, okay? Sounds good. The only thing that we're going to have to add to this is the two eggs, okay? Interesting. So yeah, so what we do, we're going to put the egg inside. And we're going to make a space for them. We're going to make the space. Now we put one there. And we make the second, uh, maybe right here. Okay. If you're not very careful, always remember that you can crack the eggs in a separate bowl possibly dark, so you'll be able to see the shells. <laughs> I've done this a couple of times before, so that my shells hopefully are not inside. Okay? I looked, uh, you're good. Okay, so, and then Steve, we just put some of this broth over the top, you see what I'm doing? Yeah. And we begin the cooking of the eggs. All right. This is almost ready to boil, I should yep. put some salt, huh? Beautiful, you can. In the meantime, I think that you should start with the, your Nutella. You want me to work on yeah, that? Yeah, let's do that. So, All right. So okay. these look like lady fingers, but they're right. not, right? Right. The Nutella, so good. Oh, boy. So good. So, spread them. Make it look as, uh, as delicate and as elegant as possible, Stephen, you know. And so our uh, tallarin are uh, done. Put the tallarin in the cream sauce. Lift them a little bit. Don't be afraid to put some of that pasta water inside. Pasta water with a good fresh pasta has a lot of good wheat and a good starch. So you want that because that's going to thicken inside the sauce. Okay? Look, look, look how nice, huh? Beautiful. The reason why it's called the Lady Fingers and in Italian Savoyardi because the Savoy family ruled Italy and the Savoy Kingdom was in Piedmont and still is. So Savoyardi was created in honor of the, uh, the Kingdom of Savoy. At this stage, you can add some sort of uh, um, eggnog in the winter, you can add uh, cream? milk, whipped cream? whipped cream for the kids. Yep. And if you are, there's four adults. Go ahead, show me. Uh, yeah, we're Let gonna me see just what you're pour, gonna do. No, just pour some over the top, a little bit over the top. It's a little liqueur. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. This will get soaked. And then you put some of the jimmies over the top. Yeah. I like jimmies. And here we completed the tallarine. See? Well, that looks nice. Yeah. Now oh, that's soft. It's thickened up very nicely, chef. Yeah. And we... Pretty color, too. Yeah. And we dust a little bit of good parmigiano. Piedmont is also known for a lot of great cheeses. Cheeses. I know. Oh, I yes. read that, so, too. Okay. So we have a lot to eat here today, boss. Okay, a couple of mushrooms over the top, and uh, we call this a go. That's nice. Okay, we do a little truffle oil here over the top, even, and this is tallarine with porcini dust, truffle oil, and some shiitake and heavy cream. For over 80 years, DeLuise Bakery has provided Rhode Island with fresh, delicious baked goods, handmade the old world Italian way. 
Family owned and operated, DeLuise is the name everyone trusts for cakes, pies, pastries, and everything you'll need for an unforgettable celebration. Call today to order graduation cakes, pizza, spinach pies, and rolls for Memorial Day cookouts and parties. DeLuise Bakery, old world tradition, flavors, and service since 1936. A platter of perfect pasta salad, mouthwatering chicken cacciatari, delicious panzanella salad, the perfectly catered party. These are the ingredients of happiness. Tony's Colonial. Eat happy. At Bannister Center in Providence, our mission is to provide innovative rehab and dedicated skilled nursing services in a comfortable, dignified environment. Our caring and compassionate staff is dedicated to engaging patients in a healthy lifestyle that leads to faster, more effective rehab. We have set a new standard of excellence to meet the physical, social, and spiritual needs of each resident. If you need rehab after injury or surgery, I recommend Bannister Center. Go there. Get stronger. Scrumptious veal parmigiana. Perfect polenta. Elegant eggplant. A prepared meal for you and your family. These are the ingredients of happiness. Tony's Colonial, from Italy with love. And now we're going to finish our marengo. Look at that, which is done. Ooh. We warm up the shrimp on the inside just slightly. Look okay. at that, nice. These are already poached, but you can get fresh shrimp on the inside. Yeah. Okay, and while that warms up, we begin to plain out the chicken while the shrimp cooks. We begin with a couple of pieces of chicken. There we go. And you can do a couple of pieces of breast, a couple of pieces of uh, thigh, one thigh, whatever you yeah. like. I like the breast. Okay. You add the basil at the end, and that becomes your sauce. Where's the, the egg, egg go? Right, right in the top, middle? Right up here. Uh -huh. Okay. And this completes, this is a marengo, a classic recipe from Piedmont, which, believe it or not, was introduced by the French troops. Interesting. Yeah. It's an easy dish enough to make at home. The ingredients are all available around you. The steps are simple. Look at that. All you need to do is to get a boneless chicken or have it boned out for you, okay? And that's a meal. This is the marengo, and we drizzle everything with a good single cultivar, extra virgin. We were looking for a company. We wanted a place that was had a great reputation, which um, Rhode Island Kitchen and Bath definitely does, and also where we could have everything done in one place. So they gave us a schedule at Rhode Island Kitchen and Bath showing exactly who would be at our house and exactly what would be done, and it was a daily schedule. At the end of the process, kitchen was completed earlier than uh, anticipated. We just got such a good feeling about this place. You know, they welcomed you in, they had professionals working here, and these people were design experts. That's what I felt, and uh, their ideas just clicked with what we were looking for, and we didn't even know it. Absolutely. I would agree with that 100%. These designers were moving us more into a lifestyle that we know we're going to live into and retire in. Um, I just can guarantee that if you or anyone else decides to use Rowland Kitchen and Bath, they'll be thrilled with the work and they'll know the price beforehand, they'll know what's going in beforehand and what they plan for is what they'll get. We, we had known about the fact that they were a design build firm and did things from soup to nuts as Rebecca said, mm -hmm. but if I have to answer the question as to what surprised us about it, the company. I think it was just how exceptional they are at all elements of what they do. Um, everything from the design consultation to pushing and prodding us in the right direction to help us make decisions about things to the pre-construction work and all the way through the construction. I've been continually amazed at how good they are at every phase of that. Rhode Island Kitchen and Bath invites you to attend Chef Walter Potenza's cooking workshops live right here in our showroom. June 20th, the chef will show you the secrets of making your grandmother's gravy. On September 12th, the chef will teach you how to successfully make two types of risotto. And on December 5th, centerpiece-worthy holiday dishes. 
Visit rikb.com to learn more and to register for these delicious and informative workshops. The soil content and the weather plays a big role in the grapes. Terroir is always very important in winemaking. It's basically all of your factors. The wind, your water, what kind of weather you normally have. Um, they all play important roles in how the grapes are going to grow. Now when people come in, and I was reading about this, you may see on some of the labels DOC or DOCG. Mm -hmm. What's that mean? It's a, a, an easy way to recognize quality, to recognize that the wine is from a specific place. DOC, DOCG, IGT, they're all different levels. Most Super Tuscans that you find are going to be IGTs. Yes. So it's basically wines of a specific area, but that area is very wide. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, DOC is wines that are guaranteed to be from a much smaller area, and the majority will be coming from a, vine a specific vineyard. Right. And your DOCG is an even smaller circle. So those are the better. And so we uh, recap a Piedmont, northwestern Italy, near the French border, and borders in the south with Liguria, mm -hmm. and on the east with Lombardia. We did tallerine, fresh pasta, yes. with a porcini powder, some shiitake mushroom, heavy cream, butter, mm -hmm. and truffle oil. Our main course was a chicken marengo, a dish that was found in a marengo town during 1780 when uh, the troops from Napoleon Bonaparte defeated the Austrians. Whole chicken, boned out, tomato, you have wine, bay leaves, poached egg, and shrimp, which replace crawfish in the original recipe. Well, that's good. We, of course, pay tribute to Nutella, which is from Piedmont, and it's uh, what every child likes, yeah. and the Savoyardi Ladyfingers, which were made 260 years ago to honor the Savoy family. Nice job. Okay. Yeah. Great chef. And so, and we did this all here, Rodana Kitchen and Bath. We did. And you Good know what? Place. If you're curious about how we cook and what this is all about, come on down to Rhode Island Kitchen and Bath. Design a showcase. We're on Jefferson Boulevard. You can check out all the beautiful appliances. Maybe even run into us because we're here a lot <laughs> with different shows. Right. And we're going to be traveling to a new region. So yep. join us next time. Have I'd like to thank our sponsors, uh, in particular Tony Colonials, and uh, for 65 years on Feather Hill, leading the quest for new ingredients uh, and uh, some of the finest and some of the ingredients that we are using today are from the stores. Until the next time. Ciao. Italy is renowned for food, art, architecture, style, and passion. La Bella Vita. Italy's 20 regions each have distinctive and delicious culinary traditions. Truffle hunt in Tuscany. Taste Palermo street food. Explore Puglia or La Guria's Cinque Terre. Our tours blend food, wine, history, and culture. Join Chef Walter Potenza. See and taste Italy through the eyes and palate of an expert in Italian history, culture, and cuisine. Andiamo!